12 Feet Deep is a thriller film that's inspired by a real life story, I guess. And uh, it's not good. Have a pleasant weekend. So the 12 feet deep part uh, relates to this uh, public pool and how deep it is. And the setup for it is really goofy. And before I get to that though, I found it odd, it came out around the same time as uh, 47 meters down. And it also features two sisters that are trapped in the water. And if it's, it's, there's no sharks, well, they even mentioned at one time the only way the, the only way is to be worse if there were sharks, and I don't know if this was trying to like play off the four centimeters deep, like the old uh, blockbuster movies you get, like you'd see a movie in theater, you go into blockbuster, and there'd be some play in the title, like on on there, like straight to video, or is it just um, serendipity or just coincidence? I really don't know. So the setup to start off is really stupid because. Like, there was, one sister is at the pool about to go in swimming. And uh, she's swimming, and then another sister comes, and apparently she's, like, a drug addict on rehab. And, like, they did, that's a, it seems like that's the first time they've, meet, they've been meeting in a while. But, you know, why would they meet at a public pool? It's just kind of odd. But it just so happens that uh, the pool is on, about to have a holiday weekend, and the owner wants to get the hell out of there. And the owner is the guy from the Saw movies. And, you know, I hope that... From the trailers, it looked like there was some sort of uh, thriller. Like, with uh, there was a person that was trying to kill them. And I hope that it would be him. But it wasn't. So... And, you know, what happens is they... Um, her ring... Or she has to read the guy engaged. And her ring is in the pool and, like, stuck in the grate. And they both dive down to try to pull it out. And the owner of the pool thinks that everyone's gone, so he puts up the fiberglass or whatever it is uh, cover of the pool. And they're trapped in the water for a holiday weekend. And they would die. Especially because the one person has diabetes. The biggest problem with the film is that neither of the characters are likable. Like, they're both kind of goofy and they are like don't have any of that sisterly bond, it seems like. Like, they get a little bit more of it later, but a lot of it is just them arguing, and it's just annoying. And they get a weird aspect, too, that they were, I guess their father abused them, and one of the sisters burned them alive. And there's just a really weird, like, plot point that you, you, know, you learn more about their past while they're arguing with each other. And you get this thing where the uh, janitor is, uh, is a f ex-con, and she wants to steal their phone and credit cards and stuff and not save them. But then they're like, oh, will I save you? Oh, no, I won't save you. No, will I save you? Oh, no, I won't save you. And it's just, their character, again, is just annoying. And I think, I mean, it would have been funnier if, like, they had to fight her more at the end. But stuff happens where it's just kind of, it doesn't happen. Like, I almost wonder if it's kind of like a crutch that it was based on a, a true life story. And instead, it, it went more fantastical and they had to fight off someone or do something cool at the end of it. And, I mean, some stuff that happens, you know, yeah, it's kind of interesting. But I wouldn't recommend the film. I'd probably give it like a 5 out of 10. There's really not much there to enjoy. But uh, thanks for watching. You can check out my other video playlists around my head or subscribe to me over there. Thanks.